which I think, in my opinion, that it's a ritual that you know all too well about, sir. Thank y'all for tuning in. I love y'all. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so y'all know when I'm dropping. And help me with this algorithm. I love y'all. Which I think, in my opinion, that it's a ritual that you know all too well about, sir. This past Tuesday on the Comedy Hype News Show, our analysts discussed former basketball player Kwame Brown's thoughts on Russell Westbrook's attire that was a part of a photo shoot. Kwame is smart to always point out how you're not going to speak to what he said. And you did it, Pierre. You did it. This is what Kwame said. Why are all our black male strong celebrities who are married to black women, why are they made to look effeminate? Why are they in dresses? Why can't they be in suits and ties like Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, and all these other white counterparts that don't have to look like weak, emasculated males for some fashion of some white boy that come and say, hey, put this on, I think you'll look good in it. And this is what you said. I see plenty of men wearing suits and so forth. So no, I don't see that as being correct in his statement. Um, yes, there are guys, like I said, who are fashion forward and like, a, like a, a James Harden, who's the guy, Russell uh, Westbrook. Yeah, um, again, it's their lane, it's their lane. Let's call it what it is. Somebody's giving you a favor that is in opposition to Kwame Brown. Cause that's what y'all industry is about, favors, right? You scratch my back, I scratch yours. So the same as like with Charlemagne having a, uh, an invested interest in all the smoke, Matt Barnes and these guys ain't gonna go against their master. My point was very clear. No heterosexual man that I raised up around wore dresses and carry purses like all of our black celebrity males seem to have to do. You know, we're not around the same little box that we grew up with. Now we see stuff in Asia, we see Europe, we see everything, we see different things. Now we have different choices. We have the right to pick a different choice of how I wanna dress from when I grew up. Those times are back then. Which I think, in my opinion, that it's a ritual that you know all too well about, sir. Yeah, every, everything's about my white father, white this, white, white. You do a lot of racism, brother, you do a lot of racism. I'm, who hurt you, <laughs> okay? Let me ask about that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I would like to tell him, man, brother, times have changed, man, and it ain't all men which I think, in my opinion, that it's a ritual that you know all too well about, sir. He keeps wanting to bundle around, all men do this. All men don't do that. All men don't wear dresses or whatever. Particular ones do. The only time Russell Westbrook is even, like, he's more sassy than anything. He's always upset. He's always cantankerous. You know, people think that's like, and then people try to do this other thing. Like, like Russ got a bad bitch attitude already. That's why they, it's easy to grab Russ and get him to do that shit. What do I tell my kids? See, he doesn't know how to explain to his kids how this world is, so he has a fear. And so he'd rather take, get away from it, get everything, get away, opposed to find a way to discuss those things with kids. And real quick, this notion that Kwame is, don't know what to teach his kids, so he's just shunning things and pushing things away because he don't know what to tell his kids. Pierre, this is, this is how I know you're, you're broken as a man because you shouldn't have to talk to your kids about these things, brother. Yes, parenting is important and you parent your own kid. You monitor what your own children watch. I'm a big proponent of that. But you also can't deny the forcing and the, and the, and the over-exaggeration of debauchery in these children's lives everywhere they turn with, 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 with things supposed to be children's programs. So Pierre, that was a very dumb point in trying to attack Kwame's parenting. You just look stupid. You look stupid. Actually, Pierre, you look how you were raised. Which I think, in my opinion, that it's a ritual that you know all too well about, sir. Pretty much what I agreed with Pierre was, because I don't usually agree with Pierre, was that homie is wearing his dress. Let him wear his dress. Why is it bothering him so much? Which I think, in my opinion, that it's a ritual that you know all too well about, sir. What we're talking about is why can't we see strong black men? be strong black men all the time. They're not finna put Tom Brady in a dress. They're not finna put Aaron Rodgers in a dress. They heroes gonna stay they heroes. You would never see nobody disrespect Babe Ruth. Mickey Mantle, they never gonna disrespect Mickey Mantle. They heroes stay they heroes. But they'll never let you forget what Kobe did and, or what Kobe went through and he's dead. And Kobe's dead. They never let you forget DMX was on drugs. DMX is dead. They so stuck on their heroes they won't even take down Confederate statues. They will not let you disrespect their heroes. 
But we supposed to see ours dressed like women. Martin Lawrence, Chris Rock, Jamie Foxx. Nah, and, and then and then everybody want to pull this card. This is the next card they're going to try to pull, y'all. Well, why, why somebody else your hero? Or why, why? I'm 37 years old. Ain't none of these people I'm talking about my goddamn hero. Y'all know what I'm saying. It's the influence. It's seeing someone look like you do something that you want to do or think you can do or think you can't do. Do booty goon shit to get where you at. And you telling people it's hard work. That's where we have a problem. That's where we have a problem. So, Pierre, you, you, you always going to be way off base, brother. And you can never speak to a man's points. What makes you a go-along, get-along gang ass nigga. It bothers you when you hear Zaddy Boy. Pierre, it bothers you when you hear these things because you can't talk like that. How many of these execs and how many of these people done disrespected you, Pierre, to get to where you at right now? You're not one of us. you on that side. I make these videos to show our people who are on the other side. You're on the other side. That's what this video is about. You're not on ours. You know, and either you participated in these things or you just didn't have what they wanted from you. See what I'm saying? But these guys don't just got to dress in dresses, Pierre. Do they? Let's, are we going to talk about that? Which I think, in my opinion, that it's a ritual that you know all too well about, sir. These guys just don't have to dress in dresses, y'all. They have to do way more, y'all. Y'all look at Kid Cudi, y'all. Come on. Come on, y'all. They take a portion of what you said to make their point off of it. But using a portion of what you said to make it seem like they're talking about what you said. And they're not. They're not. They're deviating from the whole fucking conversation. Which I think, in my opinion, that it's a ritual that you know all too well about, sir. I love y'all. Once we all up, it's stuck like that.